Hi, and welcome to the very first episode of Not So Weekly Video Game Pickups. I started this show because I did an amazing find last week, and I always wanted to do a YouTube show. And uh, well, because of this find, I finally started it. Uh, last week I did two uh, flea markets. Actually, one was more like a garage sale. The first one was on the 1st of May. And I found uh, not too much there, but still some nice stuff I will show you. First of all, Pokemon Diamond in uh, Street Fighter 4 DS. Uh, 7 euros for the both, I think that's okay. They're both loose, but they're nice games to play. And uh, well, I'm happy with it. Then uh, next up was uh, Crazy Taxi 3 for the Xbox. Three, not 360, the original Xbox. You see it running here in the back. These days I buy a lot of uh, Xbox One games because um, they're very cheap at the moment. One euro to two euro, three euro maybe. And uh, well, it's a nice time to start your collection just like I did. I already have 25 titles I think, but uh, never spent more than three, do three uh, euros a piece. Well, then uh, was the flea market on Saturday. First of all, there wasn't uh, really much there. This was this one girl uh, selling all, all, all her old Pokemon stuff. Uh, so I bought some games there. Uh, Pokemon Silver. Uh, Game and Watch Gallery 2. And then Humans, also for the original Game Boy. This one is uh, a bit like Lemmings. Um, you uh, play as uh, like this, uh, you know. Neanderthalers and uh, you have to get through the level with a puzzle then some uh, Pokemon Ruby and then the wireless adapter for Pokemon Ruby and uh, green and she also had Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver which is I heard a very good game haven't played it yet but uh, everybody always talks uh, fondly about it. Then I also found at her booth a Brain Boy. This is a, a device that lets you edit Pokemon uh, Blue. Yeah, it has a very bad label. Pokemon Red and Yellow. And also I think the tar card trading game. And also let you colorize the old games. And also let you um, copy the saves from one cartridge to another. Or just copy the save to this. I will show you now how this thing works on my Nintendo GameCube with uh, Game Boy Player. Huh? I'll put on some sound. Mm. Huh? Oh, it looks pretty bad. Well, here you see you can start the game, you can use a colorizer, this is to use uh, to start the game colorized, but these two only work on a real Game Boy Color, not on the Game Boy Player. Uh, there's also an editor to edit Pokemon games, and here is to copy to the memory of your uh, Brain Boy. You can edit your name, your rival's name, the money you have, time you have, badges, monsters, this Pokemon, and your items. For example, you can... Uh, Geodude, he has a level 18 at the moment. You can uh, increase the level values here. Like, uh, make him a 99. Uh, HP max. Also, oops. Yeah, you can really change everything. Save changes. Return to the main menu. And let's play some Pokemon. Continue. 
I will change my Pokemon switch. Well, you can also see that his stats are now very high. Now let's go look for a for a fight. Ah, we found one very quickly. Ooh, a bell sprout. Mega punch. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> you know the <laughs> low life. Uh. Okay. I lost <laughs> with my <laughs> super powerful Pokemon. Yeah, okay. This one is also already upgraded. Uh, I already tested the Brain Boy. Ah, oh, now I win. <laughs> okay, so far the Pokemon stuff. So, the girl. She sold me all this for 18 euros and she already had a box for Soul Reaver 2 but it didn't include the disc. So I asked her, uh, do, do you think you still have the disc? She said, yeah, I might still be able to find it. So I said, I'll come back in a couple of hours. I came back later but they didn't find the disc and uh, well, I continued to run along the flea market and I saw a boot that hadn't been there this morning. So I scanned over the table and I saw these two babies lying there. You see a red Game Boy and a yellow Game Boy. So for your observant people out there, you should have already noticed that um, the gray screen protector is actually not correct for this color of Game Boy. And on the yellow one, it also has the gray screen protector plus the purple uh, buttons from the old uh, original Game Boy. So I asked the person selling this, well, how, why, the, how did you get these types of Game Boys? Um, and he said, well, I used to know somebody who worked for Nintendo and they sold me them uh, pretty cheap so they're probably refurbs uh, repaired and then resold by somebody at Nintendo and I said do you have anything else from Nintendo and he said well yes I have a big Nintendo to uh, use on the television uh, but my daughter still doesn't want to sell it I said well uh, let me see it uh, maybe there's a game I want to buy and he also was interested how much they would go for if his daughter would allow him to sell it and I saw a Super Nintendo with Super Mario All-Stars, Super Mario World and Starwing. Starwing is the name in Europe for Star Fox. It's uh, different because some other company already trademarked Star Fox. So as I was looking to the games, I said, well, that's probably worth around uh, 50 euros, I think. The complete set, if you sell it to the right person. And then I saw on the Starwing uh, cartridge not for resale and uh, I immediately uh, start looking at the cartridge thinking it was some sort of demo uh, cartridge or something but then I saw under the word Starwing competition and immediately my uh, my euro fell and I thought whoa this cartridge is uh, worth a lot of money I should uh, probably uh, try to buy it from this guy and I said to him well I don't have this game yet uh, how much do you sell it for so oh, my daughter she doesn't want to sell anything I said well I'll can, I can give you 15 euros for it and uh, he went outside I asked his daughter and she said oh that's okay sell it to the guy for 15 euros later on I looked it up on eBay and apparently the sold copies in the UK in the United Kingdom the cheapest one was 130 pounds the most expensive one was 450 pounds I don't know why there's a <laughs> price difference that big between the two but I'm super glad I got this for 15 euros and uh, well it's staying in my collection of course. I will show you now, uh, I will demonstrate it on my Super Nintendo. The sad thing is it doesn't work on uh, it doesn't work on my Super Famicom so I can't play it in 60 Hz. Put a little bit of music on. Sometimes it's 
switches automatically. You can see official starring competition 1993 Nintendo. You can choose your controls here. Voilà. Now you can play this game. It has uh, four uh, levels and you have four minutes to complete it. Um, then you get a high score and uh, after you get the high score well then you I think you should have sent it to Nintendo or something I don't know maybe fill in the form I don't know in any case it was a big competition throughout the world because this cartridge is also available in Japanese and in uh, the United States not that they're any less rare there, but apparently in Belgium a lot of people have this cartridge. So I guess um, the people working at uh, Nintendo Europe gave a lot of these cartridges away to friends or uh, people who bought stuff directly from them. But I can, can imagine if you're a child and uh, you get this cartridge from your parents that you're a bit disappointed because uh, the game only lasts for four minutes so I guess that's why the girl wasn't uh, too heartbroken to sell this game she probably never played it because it's actually it's stupid it's only a four minute version here comes the boss well, as you can see I'm finding the first boss and I only have 22 seconds left when the timer runs out, you get a special screen and then um, you get your high score. Wow, oh, I defeated the boss with one second. Left. So now Sleepy tells us the time is finished. Well, that's my total score. So. I was pretty happy that day with my purchases when I found one other game Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back it was 3 euros and um, well he had the other two uh, first Crash Bandicoot so 1 and 3 also but the discs weren't in the boxes so I let them th left them there and also um, he allowed me to change the plastic case because the this one was really destroyed so I he allowed me to change it with another case, so that was really nice of the guy. So, in total, I spent um, three euros on this, then 15 euros uh, on the Starwing, five euros on the Game Boy, so that's 23 euros in total, plus another 18 is uh, 33, 41 euros that day. I think that's a pretty good deal. Thanks for watching, and hopefully, till the next time. Bye.